Hello and welcome to Ducoscopy TV here in the Geneva studios. I'm Sam Meredith and I'm joined today by Jean-Francois of Zazek from MJT and Fingrafts.com. Welcome Jean-Francois. Hi Sam. Now firstly for today I understand uh, you'd like to talk about the Euro dollar. Now we've seen some dollar weakness of late with perhaps what the Federal Reserve have been saying but what more can you tell us? Well basically the Fed seems to be data dependent again. And so it's going to be quite crucial this week because there's quite a few data points coming out from the US. Uh, we're also going to have a quite a few speeches from uh, the Fed officials. Uh, but uh, the main line is that, uh, as Mr. Fisher said, uh, it's an expectation to raise rates before the end of the year, but it's no promise. So uh, we're going to have to be uh, uh, quite uh, wary of what is coming out on the data front. Now what we have here is a FinGraphs mosaic. We've taken an hourly a mosaic. And uh, we can see that risk assets are rallying. So you have the euro dollar, you have gold, you have the three months S&P, and you have the DAX. And we're going to first concentrate on euro dollar. And as with uh, all FinGraph charts, we present uh, uh, charts over three investment horizons. So you have a long-term chart here with a weekly uh, update. You have a medium-term chart with a daily update, and you have a shorter-term chart with an hourly update. So this one gives the perspective over the next few quarters, over the next few months and over the next few weeks. So that starts with the weekly. While we're still negative on euro dollar, we still think it's a downtrend. We did see quite a lot of exaggeration earlier this, this year. Uh, in the perspective of the strong move down late last year, early this year, the correction is still quite shallow and we still believe it's only a, a consolidation. Uh, our algorithms are showing that we could reach targets below parity or just below parity over the next few quarters. So long term, we still believe it's a downtrend. Now, over the short term, we've been correcting up, hence the great price uh, projection here. It's labeled corrective up down, so we believe that it probably reached on two occasions here pretty much its potential. It's going for a new attempt now, and it seems like there is a basis, so it might, it might, uh, it might uh, have a good go at it. Uh, as long as it stays below 116.14, which is basically the high end of our corrective targets, we would still label this as a consolidation within the longer term downtrend. Now, over the short term, we've seen quite a nice rally. Uh, we were oversold uh, a week ago. Uh, we are not uh, at stress yet, meaning our envelopes are not touching each other. And we have targets that could lead us back above 115, almost to 116. So we might see, as, as previously mentioned, a new test. Uh, uh, so at the moment, short term, up, medium term, uh, up in a consolidation, but we believe the long term is still negative. Okay. Perhaps it's interesting to put it in the perspective of gold, which is uh, also rallying uh, uh, um, on the back of perhaps a less aggressive, uh, uh, a less aggressive Fed stance, and so uh, less opportunity cost to hold gold in the future if interest rates are not rising that rapidly. Uh, yet we believe the long term trend is still negative. It is quite oversold, but uh, we still believe there's a bit of potential over the next few quarters, uh, possibly down to the 1,000 level. Now, on the daily, we're correcting up. We still have some leeway here to make it almost to uh, 1,200. Uh, if we do make it above 1,200.03, uh, then uh, we would be in an impulsive move up, and that could cast some doubt over our long-term downtrend, as with the 116 with uh, the euro. But at the moment, there's still quite, uh, um, quite some space here to move up, and uh, we would label this only as a consolidation for now. Similarly, with the euro, uh, the hourly is moving up, and we have targets here that can lead us up to 1170, up to above 1190 over the next few weeks. Okay then, so what about um, equities? We've seen since February the longest rise in global stocks. So. Could you shed some light into why that's happening? All in all, if we take uh, the market over the last two years, it's, it's already quite an overbought situation. Uh, we believe the trend is not over, but it is, a, it is almost a distribution market already. So uh, you've had quite a few incidents. You've, I think you've had Jan January 2014, you had October last year, and now yet again a strong move down uh, uh, into August. Uh, yet, it seems like uh, uh, there's enough liquidity to, uh, to, uh, to uh, help the market resume and continue its uptrend. Uh, which we think at the moment is still the case, because if you look at uh, the weekly chart, it's still in a bull. 
pretty much reach its target, but at the moment uh, our envelopes are still he heading slightly up. So we would still label this as an intermediate top. Uh, we did see some exaggerations on our envelopes, on our risk index, but uh, we would expect that uh, at the moment uh, the probabilities is that this is uptrend is not over. Now we've seen quite a dangerous move down on the daily. Uh, it's almost oversold. We've seen a nice uh, reaction up on price. Uh, we cannot confirm that this move down is coming to an end. Now if we look at uh, the levels, this, um, we are at very interesting levels at the moment. They actually served at, as very strong support back uh, end last year, earlier this year. Uh, served as a resistance in the, the current correction up and we just made it above the 2000 level on Friday. Now it's going to be very important to hold these uh, uh, levels if we want to uh, um, curb the downtrend where we're, where we're at at the moment. Now the Oli seems to tell us that it wants to do it. Uh, it's moving up targets in, in the direction of uh, 2024 to 2073. Uh, our risk index is still below the uh, 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 the overbought. So in this uh, uh, respect, the situation is labeled as a resume uptrend in a consolidation period. And we would probably be able to say pretty much the same on the DAX, where you have still um, a long trend, uh, a long term uptrend on the weekly chart, uh, yet a strong correction, but actually uh, came uh, right into the previous tops of last year and now it seems like these levels around 10,000 are quite important. You see they've been, they, they, they were resistance here, resistance here, a bit of support here and we're back at these levels. So also here it's going to be important that over the next few weeks we are able to hold these 10,000 levels. We cannot confirm it's over on the daily but yet we are already oversold and uh, the hourly seems to be quite promising moving up not in overbought situation yet, and with targets pretty much uh, slightly below uh, 10,500 uh, 10, up to potentially 10,800 over the next few weeks. Thomas, thank you very much. Thank you very much. And thank you for watching. Keep clicking back to Dukascopy TV for more updates and exclusive interviews. We'll see you next time.